All right, today we are feeding. Let me get this lid off so we can see who we're feeding. We're gonna feed Isabella. Isabella is a San Isabel Island ground boa. You see her in the top left over there. She blends in really well with her substrate, so she can be difficult to see sometimes. But I'm going to feed her a fairly, it's, it's a small rat, but it's a, for her it's going to be a big, a big deal. Pretty big for her. This is a small rat that is trying to be a medium rat. Let me take this out so that they won't, she won't hide in it. Now, when I first got Isabella, which has been uh, almost a year ago, she refused for months. She refused. Oh, look at that. She refused to eat rodents. She only wanted lizards or, or little snakes. She was also a snake eater. But she would not eat a rodent, and uh, I had to force feed her more than once. I had to assist feed that snake because she would not eat rodents. And I wanted to get her used to it, so I used uh, snake skin, and I wrapped a little pinky mouse in a snake skin. And when she ate that, shortly after that, she ate a mouse, a little pinky mouse, without being wrapped up in a snake skin. Look at that, ain't that cool? It's a beautiful little ground boa. These are kind of rare. There's not a lot of these running around. A lot of people don't have these in their collection. You can see her stalking. She's stalking her rat. Now that's a big rat for her. It's a small rat, but for her, that's a big rat. And I love to watch snakes stalk their prey like that. You know, I've got things like uh, blood pythons and gaboon vipers, and they don't stalk their prey. They are ambush predators. They just sit there and wait for it to cross right in front of them before they'll ever do anything. But snakes like this, and my uh, other boas, they are, they are, uh, they'll stalk their prey. And that's what she's doing right now. That's totally cool. That's going to be a big meal for Isabella. Now the San Isabel Islands are uh, kind of north of New Guinea and Australia. They're, uh, in the Solomon Islands. You, guys, you probably may have heard more of the Solomon Islands. This is one of the Solomon Islands. It's the San Isabella Island. Or San Isabel. And uh, this is, some people try to call these a white San Isabel Island. But I don't know why they call them white. Just because they're, they're a little lighter color than the others, but uh, that ain't white, you know what I mean? So I don't know who comes up with these names. But sometimes I wonder what they're thinking. Because that snake ain't white. But it is cool to watch her stalk the prey. That is a cool thing. Look at that. She's gonna nail that sucker. Yeah. Well, I guess I better move this camera where we can see better. Might help if we can see. See what's going on. I can't get it to turn. When it's at this weird angle, it don't turn well. I'm trying not to disturb her by hurting all this movement. That is cool. Look at that. Now she's slowly stalking. And then all of a sudden, right at the last second, she'll strike and constrict that sucker. 
That's what we're fixing to see. Let me turn this thing a little more. Here we go. Y'all don't blink or you'll miss it. Well, it was a bite, but not a constriction. Uh oh. Come on, baby. You can't just bite it. You're not venomous. Now, if that was a venomous snake, that's, that rat would be in trouble. I guess she maybe she thinks it's too big. It may be too big for her. She's just going to bite it. Yeah, and that's probably not hurting much. The little teeth on that snake is. You barely feel them. I've been bit by snakes like that, and they bring blood a little bit. You know, your finger might beat up a little bit with blood, but it doesn't hurt. You barely feel it. She's going to go do that again. I think she's trying to chase it off. I think she's trying to chase the little dude off. I wish she'd go ahead and constrict it. I'd like to see her try to eat something that big. She's got a weed in her mouth. It's probably not going to help. And maybe she's trying to constrict it, but the thing is too strong for her. And she can't hang on to it long enough to wrap her body around it. But she's still trying. She didn't give up. Some snakes, once they do that, they freak out like a ball python or certain other snakes. Once they once they don't they don't succeed, they back off and then they cower after that. And she is definitely not cowering. She's still on the march forward. She is. Oh, that, that rat's nose is a little bloody. She must have struck him right on the nose. She's going to turn around and go get him again. She can't hang on to him, though. Her mouth won't hang on to that rat, and it's a little strong for her. So as soon as she strikes it to try to hang on to it and wrap it up, it's so strong that it springs away from her. And I think I may have I may have given her something a little bit too big. A little bit too big. But she ain't through trying. She ain't through trying. She definitely isn't coward. She's not she's definitely not a a royal python or a cowardly snake. She's not a coward, that's for sure. That rat don't like that. She, he's like, what? What's this thing keeps biting me, man? It's a beautiful snake, though. Definitely uh, got some... Uh, not your typical boa type markings. I mean, boas come in all types of designs, but that's a pretty cool design right there. The zigzag all, the stripe all the way down. It's pretty cool. And she has not given up on that, my, that rat. I may have to try to give her something a little smaller. Yeah, giving her a rat just a little too big. Yeah, I believe that's too big. I'm gonna have to trade him out. That's cool that she's not even backing down from that rat, though. She ain't afraid of that thing. She's gonna hit him again. Watch this. She's gonna try to wrap him up, but she can't do it. She just can't hang on, but that, she keeps catching him on the nose. You can see there's a little bit of, 
little spots on that rat's nose where he got bit on the nose. She's going to try, but she can't hang on well enough to wrap it up. Look at that. Isn't that something? Now that's a brave little snake. That's a snake that has got plenty of courage. But while they are in that mode, I'm going to leave y'all for a minute and I'm going to go get her a medium sized mouse instead and see what she thinks because I don't think she can handle that big old rat. I think it's a little out of her league. She sure is trying though. I'm glad to see her. She's not a coward. Alright, we're going to try something here. Let's see if we can get her up. Because this little mouse isn't really that much smaller than that. This is a medium sized mouse. And that's a small rat. But that small rat is, well, about twice as big as this mouse. Now let's see what happens. I think she can handle that mouse. Yeah, here we go. She can handle this mouse. She says, hey, wait a minute, that smells different. That ain't the same thing I just had. Look at her, she's a hunting. That's a hunting snake. She's going to stalk that little mouse now. That's cool to see that she's that brave. Ooh. And even though it's uh, that it's a mouse, it still looks like it'd be quite a quite a meal for her. Look at the way she's drawing up. She's ready. She's ready. Chopper. Chopper drags his toenails when he walks across the floor. There it is. Now that's not too big for her. She can get that one. All right, Isabella. Good girl. You did so good, baby. You're so brave. Wow, that that chick is. She's something. She's a badass. She may not be very big, but she definitely got a lot of courage. She tried to eat that rat. She was chasing it around, trying to get it. It just was a little too much for her.